I'm Science Mom, this is Math Dad, and we're back for challenge problem number 43. If you're new to the series, don't forget to check it down in the description. There is a link to Desmos, and you can try out the problem yourself. Use a mouse to draw on your little scratch board and then submit it, or if you're a teacher, you can give it to your students. Indeed. Let's see if you can beat Science Mom today. All right, problem number 43, I called it Path Counter because the question is, how many paths take you from the start to the end? following these arrows. So the arrows are definitely oriented in a certain direction. Okay. But but the path can be any any length? A any length that is compatible with those arrows. Okay. okay. So any questions? No. How, how much time do I get? I'm giving you four minutes for this one. Four minutes? Okay, that means he thinks it's a hard problem. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let's see how I do. I think a little time could go a long way in a problem like this. Alright, so... If you're watching at home, now is the time to pause the video. Give it a try yourself. My time to try and solve it begins now. Indeed. All right. So I'm going to go for the shortest, most direct path yet first, or one of them. Just go on that end. There's one. Um, go along the other end. That's two. And then three. And four would be to kind of zag, zigzag into the middle first. Um, holy cow. I don't know how I'm going to keep from like double counting and five. Okay, I need a new strategy. So basically I have the option to visit dots. I can visit those dots on the way down. If I don't visit this dot, I would have to visit this one. And I can't, and I can't go over and get these two. Like once I've gone to this dot, I'm committed that I have to either go this path or this path. And then once I get here, there's only one option. Oh, or I could go here. Okay, so if I choose, I'm going to call this first one A. If I choose A, then I have two choices afterwards, B1 and B2. And then from B1, I just have one choice. I'm going to call that C1. So B1 goes to C1. But if I go to B2, I have C1 or C2. Don't say anything. I can tell you're about to say something. Um, so just from A, I have... Oh, but that's not true, because at A, if I go to B1, if I go to B2, I can also go back to B1 and start that whole loop over again. Oh, that gets kind of messy. Okay, so if I choose A, I have this route that just simply goes to the end. I have this route that can do like a B1 prime thing, or it can, okay, and I, I was supposed to be counting and I forgot to count because I was thinking out loud and I need a new color. Uh, one, two to B prime, three, four. So there's four if I go this way. And then if I go this way, so this other route, we're going to call this A2, and from A2, I can either go to B2 or B3. If I go to B2, I have the option of going to B1 and getting that whole thing, or I can do this, or if I go to B3, I can then go to B2 and get that one again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dang it. I'm having a hard time keeping track of my like I need more I need more scratch paper. So I'm up to ten, but I'm not sure that that's I'm not sure that that's right. Um uh, there's gotta be a better way to identify these, but I kinda like my little numbering system of yeah, I, I like it too, <laughs> although, yeah, with only seven seconds left, we're in. Seven seconds go. left? Oh my goodness. 
That was the fastest four minutes ever. All right, I'm gonna say that 12 is a really good prime number and it's slightly higher. It's not, not prime or correct. But. <laughs> Do you know how hard it is to think out loud while you're being filmed? It, it is tough. <laughs> in, indeed. All right, so can I weigh in now? Can I? Uh, uh, 13 was what I meant. 13 is a good prime, prime number, number as well. Yeah. That, that, that's true. And 13 is nice and I was prime. figuring if I had like 10 to 20 percentish above my guess of 10, I might be correct. All right. Now I'm really curious if I... All right, so, so we could adopt a strategy of tackling smaller problems first. You tried to tackle the whole thing all at once, and uh -huh. I think that's where you went wrong. So, so you're first of all, just like the triangle. Yeah, yeah, let's look at that triangle. So, okay. how many ways can I get to this first node? Well, just one way, you start there. How many ways can I get to this particular one? One way. One way. Okay. How many ways can I get to this guy? Two ways. Two ways. All right. Cool. So, now building off of that, how many ways can I get to this guy? From this one here. Any, from anywhere. From anywhere. But, but that is the only one that goes there. One. So oh, still only one way, right? Okay, how about, how many ways can I get to this center guy? Okay, so you can go to the right node first and down. You can go to the and right just, node. Just go back one from, down. from the pieces that can get here, how many total ways? So there's one way to come. There's that three. Way. One way to come so that way. But from this one, this represents two paths. So altogether, oh. there would have been four ways of getting here. Okay. How many ways can we end up here then? So this re represents two and then we have four, so that's six? That's right. Oh my goodness. Take over. Ugh, that was way off. Um, so now we have six coming in four. Yeah. You're not ready on that one. Do it first. <laughs> You're right, there's another error there. Okay, one way to get here plus four ways to get here is five ways to get here. Mm -hmm. And then we have five plus four, plus six, 15 ways to get here. And then we have 20. Hmm, all righty. 20 ways to get there. That is pretty fun. Yeah. I like it. And it, it's one of those problems that if you try to swallow the entire thing, you're gonna choke. There's, there's <laughs> too, too much to keep track of for a, a four minute problem. Yeah, very fun, thank you. <laughs> Welcome.